Hello, in this podcast we will discuss about how we should invest during period of crisis. But before that if you want to read full article about it then the link of the article is in description. Also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel Monist View. Firstly, let's see how do most investors react to a crisis. Irrespective of the type of crisis, there is always significant noise regarding the latest developments, and this noise inevitably impacts investors. The typical reaction of investors to a crisis is to panic and start selling their equity investments even if they incur a loss. This decision to sell in a panic is often the wrong one yet it happens every time because of the overwhelming fear of further losses. But even though you might not make a panic sale during a crisis, Finding suitable investments during such periods can prove to be tricky. Some problems that you need to look out for when making investments during a crisis are high volatility in equity markets and chances of a double-dip recession. The current crisis playing out in Ukraine currently seems to be following the same pattern. After the initial decline in Indian stock markets, the overall market has recovered significantly. Yet there is definitely a lot of uncertainty regarding the future prospects of investments make during the current crisis. Now let's discuss how to choose investments during a crisis. Any crisis, whether economic, geopolitical or socio-economic, offers multiple opportunities to grow your wealth. In fact, historical data shows that periods of crisis often help investors generate excess returns, provided they choose investments wisely. The primary reason for this is of course, the behavior of investors in response to any crisis. Typically at the onset of a crisis, investors usually decide to move their investments to sectors, industries, and asset classes that are considered to be safe. These include technology, utilities, consumer staples, and gold. While such investments can help control equity portfolio losses to some extent, there is no guarantee that these investments will help create wealth in the long term. A few smarter investors might choose a different option, short selling of stocks or index futures. A short seller is able to make money from the fall of share prices or drawdown of indices. In simple terms, the short sellers borrow shares they do not already own and sell them with the expectation that the shares can be available to purchase at a lower price later on. However, short selling transactions are not simple as buying and redeeming mutual fund units, so this technique of benefiting from falling markets is not suitable for all investors. Now let understand how to invest during market drawdowns. During a drawdown in equity markets, you can invest in high quality stocks that are available at cheap valuations. To choose the best high quality stocks during a crisis period, you have to consider some key criteria as follows. 1. Invest in companies that provide essential good and services. During periods of crisis, opting for stocks of companies that provide essential goods and services is typically a good idea. This is because sectors that deal with essential items and everyday needs products like soap, milk, medicines, rice, etc. tend to do better during periods of crisis. In the case of other products or services, individuals might have the opportunity to postpone purchases, but that is not the case when it comes to essentials or everyday needs items. Similarly, you should consider avoiding companies that operate in discretionary consumption segments like jewelry, automobiles, hospitality, and entertainment, travel, etc. During times of crisis, the stocks of these companies might be available at a large discount, but such businesses typically take longer to recover and flourish post-crisis. 2. Find companies that control their own supply chain. Supply chain disruptions are to be expected during times of war, so it is natural for many companies to face raw material shortages that impact production. In such circumstances, companies that operate their own supply chain have a significant advantage. This is because companies with direct distributors are typically able to normalize their supply chain faster than companies that use wholesalers. Similarly, companies that operate B2C channels on their own such as showrooms, diagnostic labs, etc. are better placed to rebound faster than companies that rely on a third party. 3. Choose companies that support its stakeholders. Another factor to consider when you are investing during a crisis is the way in which a company manages the interests of its stakeholders. If a company is able to extend extra credit or give working capital loans to its suppliers, vendors, and distributors during a crisis, it is a sign that the company's financials are strong. A strong balance sheet indicates that the company is better placed to survive a crisis than its financially weaker peers. Moreover, if the number of market players decreases during the crisis, companies with a strong balance sheet can post significant gains in terms of market share by the time the crisis ends. 4. Companies positioned to increase market share 
typically, a period of crisis almost always leads to a shift in market share from unorganized to organized players. In effect, strong companies are made stronger by crisis, while weak companies become weaker and might even cease to exist. So, you should invest in a company that belongs to a high demand sector and has the ability to plug the supply chain gap. Such a company might be able to grab greater market share and emerge as a premium brand by increasing advertising spending during periods of crisis. Some examples of industries that such companies can belong to include electronics equipment, supply chain, and logistics, textiles, footwear, packaged foods, etc. Now let's conclude this podcast with bottom line. The ongoing Ukraine-Russia conflict is not the first crisis that has occurred, and we are sure to see other crises in the future too. The best way to overcome these crises is to ignore the noise, act rationally, and stay invested for the long term. Investors who stay calm during periods of crisis not only grow their wealth in the long term but also tend to win big when markets rebound later. So, thank you guys for joining with us for this podcast. If you want to read full article about it then the link of the article is in description. Also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel Monist View. Over here Shubham from Monist View signing off.